Hello and welcome to a DCSD On Demand video tutorial about Edmodo and how to create small groups within a group that you have created for students to use. This is Liz Walhoff from the Cantrell Building in Douglas County School District and we're going to begin where we left off in our previous video tutorial. I have here a group that I've entitled Biology. If I hover over it, I see that I have all sorts of different options. For this video tutorial, we're just going to focus on how to make a small group. Believe it or not, to make a small group, you go to Members, and then once you're there, you'll notice that it just has that Create a Small Group option under your avatar or under your picture. You would give it a small group name because I am undyingly original. I'm going to call mine Group 1. After I say create, I can choose any student from the menu there. I can click on their name, highlight it, and use the arrows in the middle to either add them to my small group or to remove them from my small group. Now the purpose of a small group is to accommodate one of the safety features that they have in Edmodo. One of the things that makes Edmodo a nice social networking uh, venue is that it doesn't allow students the ability to direct message each other. Anything that they want to say to each other needs to be set on the public wall where everyone can see it. While this is an awesome safety feature, there are times where you want small group discussion to occur. For that reason, you create these small groups and then they have their own small group wall where they can write to just each other. The uses for this are numerous, including, for example, literature circles, or a lab group in science, or a math group where they're explaining their common thinking. Again, to review how we got to this, we went out to Edmodo, we added our group name, we went to Members, we chose Create a Small Group under our picture or avatar. Thank you for listening. This is Liz Walhoff from the Cantrell Building in Douglas County School District, and this was another DCSD On Demand video tutorial.